In Illinois, there are thousands and thousands of people fleeing. An exodus is occurring at a rapid clip. As this trend continues, it becomes even more difficult to make up for the financial shortfall that is occurring, further intensifying the problem. You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. Today, we're going to have our focus on Illinois. Let's begin. This is the 2016-2017 net population change by state. On the left hand side, you will see that Illinois has seen itself declining in population by tens of thousands. If you look on the right hand side, you will see some of these states have seen a massive increase in their population over the past year. So why has this been the result? Why haven't more people moved into Illinois? Why have they been fleeing? Well, let's look at some of these issues today. Of course, this is not a full comprehensive diagnosis, but I've been hearing from people on the inside and they've been telling me their facts. I've been researching it. I've been documenting it. And let's cover some of that today. Census data released December 20th shows the land of Lincoln is no longer the fifth largest state in the U.S. So a big change has occurred right here, and it seems to be a trend that will continue. Illinois shrank by 33,000 people from 2016 to 2017. It is, in fact, the worst decline of any state in the U.S. in raw terms. So that's something to say. The question, of course, why? Why is this the case? Well, one of those reasons is this. Illinois property taxes, the highest in the nation. I've heard from many people that live in Illinois, and they've, tell, they've told me the prices that they pay on their average sized home. It is truly criminal to be charged that much. We're talking over $10,000 in property taxes, US dollars that is, for an average size home. That is simply unaffordable. When you look at it over the course of a 10 year period, 20 year period, 30 year period even, you realize that's a hell of a lot of money. And of course, the property taxes don't stay put. Every year, they just continue to get worse. And where does that money go? Well, it's claimed to be used in you know, efficient ways, and it's used to fund this part of the government or that part of the government, and we know better. We know that it goes to fill the pockets of those in charge. It's not being used efficiently at all. The amount of taxation that we experience is simply increasing, and we get less services as a result. Illinois is a heavily, heavily taxed state. The people are feeling it, and that is one of the reasons why they're leaving. It may start off as a trickle, and then it will get worse and worse, and all they have to do is go one state in a different direction, and suddenly they are able to save so much more money. Now, I've heard many reports from people telling me the property taxes that they pay. If you're willing to share that, if you're in Illinois, please do so in the comments below. I would really like to see that. This is something that I have been tracking. If you also experience really high property taxes, no matter where you are in the world, please let myself and everyone else you're listening to this information know what you pay for your property taxes. Just put the amount and uh, put the location that you live in. The difference between the Money GPS and other YouTube channels is that this is about all of us. It's not about one person. I collect and aggregate data from all sources, including my subscribers. That's a very, very different outlook on the way that people attain their knowledge 
than basically from anything else I've seen anyway. It's all about gurus and, and uh, financial experts. Not here. I aggregate data from all sources, all sources. And when you have your feet actually on the ground in a particular area, that is very beneficial to me and I appreciate that. Okay, no more ranting, let's go. Here we go with state retirement systems combine unfunded liability history. That's from 2002 to 2016 and guess what? Rising dramatically. Unfunded liabilities are a massive burden. The people in Illinois and other places as well, of course, they realize what's happening. They realize the state is bankrupt. Chicago, in particular, knows it's bankrupt. It knows they're about to encounter some unfortunate times ahead. A lot of people see this. They're seeing that occurring and they're saying, look, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm being taxed into oblivion. I'm just going to find my way out of here and find a cheaper place to live. And that's what happens when people are pushed to the edge. If they simply can't afford it, they have to go to a cheaper place. The taxes are just destroying people. Think about Obamacare. Think about all of the different taxes that people are facing today that they didn't have maybe 10 years ago or 20 years ago. I mean, we get all these different taxes put on us. It's not just income tax. That's bad enough as it is. But we are seeing the property taxes rising. We are seeing carbon taxes in different places in the world. We are seeing every type of tax imaginable. Taxes on literally everything. You know, if you buy a computer in Ontario, where I live in Toronto, let's say, you buy a computer, you have to pay a separate tax it's called an environmental fee. And that's essentially carbon taxes as far as I'm considered. So you're paying this fee for what? No reason really is just to give more money to the government. It's called an environmental fee and that's supposed to somehow make everything better? No, of course it doesn't. But it's a great way to put more money into the pockets of those in control. Now, you have certain areas of the U.S. that are seeing, you know, basically a bad situation going on there. But look at San Francisco, home price index skyrocketing, absolutely skyrocketing. Rents are just taking off, housing prices taking off. And despite what happened during the financial crisis, during the housing crisis, it has gone into new territory, uncharted territory. Bay Area residents are used to hearing about how red hot the housing market is, but home sales on the peninsula are taking that trend to a new wild level. So I'll just touch on a couple of uh, points here. Silicon Valley, we're seeing that, you know, there's frequently selling for over the asking price. This one particular one, 2.9 million listing, sold for 3.9 million. This other one, 2.8 million listed, sold for 4.5 million. Another one sold for 1.8 million over the asking price. 1 million over the asking price. I mean, this is just absolute insanity. That you just, doesn't matter what the listing price is. You can put a dollar there. It's going to sell for way more than anyone would ever think it's worth. The prices are, have become astronomical. So you have some people who have so much money, it's ridiculous. And then you have other people who can't afford their property taxes and they have to leave the state. They're being taxed so heavily in all different avenues that they are basically just finding new places. That should be a warning signal. That should be a sign to everybody that taxes are an extreme burden on the people, and unfortunately, things are getting worse. Well, if you look at this right here, you are seeing the unfortunate, you know, I have to choose my words carefully here, in Chicago specifically, if you can just read this here, um, total, you know, uh, unfortunate 
circumstances uh, for 2017 alone has risen to 662. I should do a you know a count uh, somewhere in January of 2018 just to give a full count, but you're looking at approaching 700 for the year in total. Despite the fact that it says this is from February 3rd, I believe that these numbers are accurate so far as of this recording. 662. That's Chicago alone. No, that's not Iraq and Afghanistan. That should be telling so so telling but it's not okay and then we turn over to an area like baltimore which is encountering the same thing so i believe this exodus will occur there as well it is quite unfortunate you have the the haves and you have the have nots and there's really not much in between and a lot of people are uh, really really sticking their heads in the sand and they're not looking up when you have to think just because the stock market is rising and just because you see these fake numbers that are provided by the governments around the world it doesn't mean that things are doing well don't just look at one particular indicator and try to tell me that everything is fine it's not the case all right Look at the real situation. This right here is one piece of evidence. If you found the video informative, please give me a thumbs up. Last but not least, if you found this video informative, I know you will find my books, The Money GPS, and my newer release, Global Economic Collapse, even more informative. You can flip through these books. The links are in the description below. You can take a look inside with their, uh, you know, they have a look inside feature at Amazon. The first book is about the four asset classes and how to profit from it, whereas my newer release gets into familiar topics, but I also talk about earning income, reducing your monthly expenses, and becoming self-sufficient. So take a look. Take care.